They deserve that, all right? They just do, all right? It's been a bad day. I've been poisoned, betrayed. I had to deal with assholes. A will across everywhere I turn. Like, literally. Die. And you can die, too. Oh. Ow. Back with aid. This won't be, though. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, mine. 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 Oh, this from High Overseer Campbell. I bid you safety and courage on your expedition. The assassin Darwin and his cultist followers are commonly known as the Whalers. Due to the old welcome as they were. Beware, for Darwin may possess powers and resistance beyond expectation. Travel with extreme caution, the infamy is well earned. They are based inside the Chamber of Compass building in the Women's Essential Watchshore. All walls of the area have been blocked, with the exception of the elevated whales. Find the whale station and watch your market. Watch carefully, for the cult is undoubtedly appoint spies to watch the boot. God. Yeah, sounds like I'm dealing with some whale competition. No, don't worry. I have outsmarted many assassin cultists in my day. Like, twice, but... It's two more than you guys, apparently. Nothing worth here, okay. They bring the bodies here with rough hands. Rough hands in cages. Some of them are still breathing. The water is so cold. And it's the last thing we feel. Any way out of here? No, it doesn't look like it's an easy way out. Do I have to abide and open the door? Guess I have no choice. Okay, door. I can guess I can just go out the window. Heh heh heh. Corvo, you genius, you've done it again. No, grenade. Now there's probably going to be assassins here, aren't there? Or at least rats. Ah! Assassin! Did he see me? No. Looks like he's just existing for now. I've got to go higher. Higher will protect me. Even an assassin won't know to never look up. After all... Will I fall if I do this? Yep! Yep! That works! That, that ledge saved me! At least I have this. Oh, key! Oh, map! Slave roots. Why, 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 why was that here? <gasps> Assassin. And he's fucked. Yeah. Okay. I think I can blink to him. Eventually. There we are. Mine. There we are. Boom. Stay here. Thank you. I think all these assassins have keys on them. Well, I think I only need the one. Ah, oh, there's food there. Well, can't hardly have more than one. Um, money, money, money. You stay there. And because I can. What are you two? Thank you. Oh. You disappear. See? I told you I got out smart couple of assassins. I'm a genius after all. Ugh. Oh, a lot of stuff here. Wound, one wound and one bone charm. A lot of stuff. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, but I have no choice, sign. I have to do it. Huh. Explosive shed, eh? Caldwin, imagine the firepower of a tall boy, but the speed and ease of a of a pistol. 
with this new technology, any sort of a steady gun arm will be a force to be working with. Make sure it gets to the load region without delay. I think it was delayed. Uh, anything worth anything here? Uh, this is Dodd's place. Uh, huh, assassin! Two assassins! How am I supposed to sneak in? Blech. Okay, Corvo. Oh. That one looks like it's going to be annoying to get to. Well, swimming. Where is it? Oh, wait, I have to. I have to jump out of the water. Alright, oh, fine. I'll get the room later. I don't. I think I actually have to wait for it, to be honest. Assassins. Oh. You don't see me! Door! Damn it! I think I barely got away. Okay, okay, I uh. I like having more mana from potions. Assassins everywhere. Yeah. What, Corvo? <laughs> Go carefully, Corvo. Animals here, too. Uh oh. I had to. I, I had to. Just as I have to do it again. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'll forgive- I forgive myself. You have to understand, it was for a bomb charm. Surrounded by more dogs. It's always dogs, isn't it? Pwah! Mine. Lake affinity? How does that mean? Now, why would I want to be attacked? Uh, kind of a thing with bone charms. Like, 90% of them are useless. Uh -huh. Well done, Kovo. You stuck past that dog? Is that really the only way in? Oh, I'll figure a way in. I'm a smart bean. What? I'll just swim. Okay, well, I'm back to where I started. Not the greatest position to be in, but... At least this place is safe. I know that much. Come on, Kovo. Ah. Come on, Kovo. There we go. Anything? Oh, come on! You were there earlier. It's almost like he teleported in. Potion. Just don't look down. Don't look down. Oh, crap. Been the only thing I can do here. One! Oh, I'm in. I'm in. You're oh. geared for field work. I have a job tonight. What's the delay? I am gatebound, not riverbound. Ozal holds the key to the tunnel and is asked not to be disturbed. Is that it? Correct. This prisoner we took. The bodyguard who was with him. Seems to trouble him. Yes. I feel that we've reached a turning point tonight. Yes. 
Good luck on your assignment when you are permitted to leave. Those sleep darts here, so I can afford to be a little bit uh, mean. <laughs> Inconspicuous, Corbo. Inconspicuous. And for once, that's true. Gah, Dodd's key. Ugh. Well, I'll have to deal with him eventually. For the next trial, you must move unseen, stay in shadow, and avoid the light. Cross to the other side of the room without attracting notice. Huh. Well done. Hmm. What do I should hide? This looks perfectly placed. Oh, I saw ya! I saw ya! You failed! Very good. I did not see you approach. Now, attempt a transversal. Do not focus on your destination with your eyes. That is folly and will limit the potential of the power. You know the layout of the room. Instead, focus on where you wish to be standing, and it will be so. Excellent. We have no more to teach you for now. Return to your place of rest. Your real work with us begins tomorrow night. Like I could quick travel pretty fast. But you look like an issue. Sorry. You look like the better assassin here, and uh, we can't have that, now can we? Uh, light. Anything else worth stealing here? Doesn't look like it. There's assassins everywhere. I mean, it is the home base, I should be not surprised, but. They're just so assassiny. Oh, right, you. I'm ready. See, I told you I was ready. Eh, uh, you can, uh, nap on the grass for me. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought this would be grass. It's just stone. I mean, if you go by certain terminology, they mean the same thing, so... I'm sure there's one interpretation that, that that's true. Hopefully. Huh. Assassin. Master. What is it? Corvo's vanished from confinement. From the whole area. And the men on duty swear they saw absolutely nothing. It sounds impossible, I know. The Greaves refinery is restarted. What do you make of it? That he knows your work better than you do. Deal with the sentries as you see fit. As for Corvo, I suspect that in time he will come to me here. He'll have to. Now little do you know that I'm right in front of you. Assassin. So you've lost it all. Ruined at last. Lord Reed. Royal Spy Master. Hiram Burroughs. You small, worried man. You'll never know how many times I've thought about trying to get close to you again. Just to put a piece of sharp metal in your eye. But now there's no need. You've been taken down by the same apparatus that gave you life to begin with. Laws and courtrooms and the mighty swell of public outrage. Good riddance to you, sir. So many schemes you had, and so many contracts. How many people did I kill for you? None like the last. None like her. I'd give back all the coin if I could. No one should have to kill an empress. Huh. 
Is that regret in your voice I'm hearing, Dalt? It won't save you, but... Maybe. Just maybe. I'm here. I'm here, Dalt. I know your footsteps, Corvo. I'm here! Fight me! <sighs> hey! Ah. And now we fight the duel that no two others could fight against the ticking of the clock. I gotcha! Uh oh. Stand down. This is my fight. Yeah! I've waited for this. Have you? Let's see if the elves will save your life or mine. I see. Why are you fighting? Um, or the, the men who poisoned you and left you to die. Hey, or your dead why'd you know that? Go on, strike as if you mean it. You know I killed her. I, I know, <laughs> but I fight for more than myself at the moment. Jaws on the back or a swordsman shame, don't you know? We're of the same breed, you and I. We kill for others. Yeah. You think I'm your enemy? I've never. Well, you are. <laughs> Bitch. Oh. Uh. Things you've done. Where'd you want off to? I'm not gonna let you leave, Dalt. Where'd you? There you are. Get back here. I have one more surprise for you. I asked for my life. When I killed your Empress and took her daughter, something broke inside me. Now I see the design on the back of your hand, the mark of the outsider himself, and I remember all I've done. The years of waiting for the right moment to step forward from an alley and drive a knife between the ribs of some noble. All the money exchanging hands from one rich bastard or another. Killing for one of them one year, then being paid to kill him in return the next. But what have I accomplished? More than you have, or much less. I remember bending at the shrines, listening as the outsider whispered that I was going to change things, that I was something important. It felt good. It made me believe I was powerful. Now I want nothing but to leave this city and fade from the memory of those who reside here. I've had enough killing. The men you worked for asked you to kill for them, but you found some other way. You took a path I could have followed, but did not. So my life is in your hands. In Make your choice. Yard, the other children, other children would marvel at his quick hands. hands. One, One day, a man came, came for young Dowd and, and led him away. No, there is no turning back from the path he has chosen. Paid assassin, Dowd. The last thing the Empress felt was his blade. His hands, hands do, do violence, but there is a different dream in his heart. Why have you brought me here? Am I meant to forgive this man for what he did? In the schoolyard, the other children would marvel at his quick hands. One day, and you choose and mercy, and let him away. Extraordinary. If you're broken, Dalt, then become fixed once more. Well, I give you that chance. I hope you take it well. As for me, I got bigger fish to fly at the moment, so... And to be honest, you're a little bitch boy, so... So you've lost it all. Ruined at last. Lord Regent. Royal Spy Master. Hiram Burroughs. You small, worried man. You'll never know how many times I've thought about earlier. trying to get close to you again. Just to put a piece of sharp metal in your eye. But now there's...
there's no need. You've been taken down by the same apparatus that gave you life yeah. to begin with. Yeah, I think with. this is the same thing he says earlier. So, let's just read a book. Except from the book on the late Empress. Many of those who have lived through her reign will weep until the end of her lives over the pale beauty of, with the piercing eyes and the foul end she met at the hands of her own twisted servant and protector. Hey! I don't care if that's what the only thing the public believed. It's an insult to me. In her father's day, the Godwins were thrust into the limelight despite their distance to the throne. When the former dynasty provided no heirs, a posthumous aide followed the emperor. But his daughter would have difficult, different luck during a short life, with political intrigue, minor conflicts, great cracks in the empire, undermining unity across the Isles. The Rat Plague, however, was a tale far, which, far for which neither Empress Caldwin or any other living being was prepared. Meh. Yeah. Except from a popular story of crime and daring, by Jules Robin and the City Watch. Before Slack Joe ran the streets in the distillery district, there was no boss more ruthless, violent, or dedicated to squeezing the average citizens for coin than the Black Sully. Like so many from Moray, she was pale skinned and green eyed, with hair as black as the void. They say that she started young, and as a girl, she stunned a man with her looks, coming upon him in an alley, then smiled a one sided smile and suddenly ran him through with a knife. She had his money and be on her way before he breathed his final breath. As a boss, she was worse. Rolling over the meanest street gang done what it seen up to that time, her operation touched everything from shipping to prostitution. She even had a whack at going with the Baker's Guild. A finger in every pie, indeed. Ha 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 ha. One man, City Watch Jules Robin, made it his mission to stop her, and kept the case going for half a decade. Black Sunday met her end when Robin had his men light smoke fires and barrels near the warehouse where she hid out during the day. As her and a gang rushed into the streets, terrified the building was burning, Captain Robin and his top officers threw nets over them and ran them all through a blade and pistol shot. That eh, crude, but effective, I suppose. Anyway, what you got here, Dodd? 100 coin, that's it. Dodd, I am satisfied. Crawford would have been very useful to me, but your impressive, your improvisation was exemplary. Him taking the fall for the crime simplified matters greatly. I hope you are equally satisfied with the payment. I shall contact you again shortly for additional assignments. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. Ah, oh, Dodd's log. The latest log entry. 18 years on this wretched walk. In this city of filth. I felt the butter scholars of noble, noble pedophiles. Can those two words really exist in the same sentence, though? Can they? Of guildsmen, of unfaithful lovers, of politicians who are far too just for their own good, and of law enforcers who attempt too close to bringing the one man to justice. Why should an empress be any different? Why should I feel the entire weight of this dying city crushing down on my back? Corvo, Lord Protector, is of Circanos, just as I once was. I might have known that fact already, but it didn't matter until I recognized it in his face. It brought back distant memories of home. I'm the optimistic young man I once was. What would I find if I went back there? Would I find that it is one from the inside, just like Dunwall? Or would it only appear that way because I'm the one who's wanted? Yeesh. The Royal Protector. Except for McStorkle, I could have governed positions and banks. Throughout the ages, rulers have always faced attempts on their lives. Once in a generation, the Empire is walked by the death of a valor of a powerful political or religious figure. As such, city states all across the Isles have devised various strategies for protecting their leaders. In the capital city of Dunwall, each new emperor is allowed to appoint a war protector. This is far more than a trusted bodyguard, much more revered than the hand chosen guards defending Dunwall Tower or the food tasters. The war protector is a court figure, given enormous latitude, who keeps constant company with the highest ruler in the known world. At the age of 12, the young monarch participates in the selection process, process mark, making the final decision about who will safeguard his or her life. While most of these chosen as war protector have been men, several times throughout history, a woman has served well in the war. For the first time in Dunwall's history, a monarch has been slain by her own bodyguard at the time of this writing, with Dunwall the grip of the worst plague ever recorded. A fair Empress Jasmine Caldwin has just been murdered. The deed was done by a former war protector turned assassin, Corvo Atano, 
who is still sitting in Kovo prison awaiting his deserved execution. Some argue that it is worth knowing that Kovo Eterno is the first war protector in the history of the Empire, born outside the uh, Isle of Crystal. And I say I was framed! I said, I say! Anyway, how do I get out of here? Tunnel? I guess I have to go back down, don't I? I hope the assassins don't mind what I did to their boss. I'm not going to assume friend, but... Maybe friend. What's that? Oh, it's just a different way in. Uh, I would have had to... Uh, I couldn't have gone to wound that assassin too. Anyway. Sleep dots. Mine. And this. Mine. Mine, 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 mine. Do I really need a key for like... 30 piddling coin. A hundred piddling coin, though. I'll take that. Anyway. Dalt's key. Crap. Uh, my knees. My everything. Well, oh. Well, okay. Maybe it wasn't the worst thing that happened to me today. Did you get more money out of the deal? Okay. We... The wound is somewhere here, I know it. There it is. Oh. There's this. What are you? The Torturous... Quartar... Water... Ibnonic Grown? I've never seen that word before in my life. Like, legitimately never. Oh, led to the director. So that's it. We're closing down after all these years. After we just unveiled a new statue of Jessamine Cauldron. A broken wall and some rising water. And we're just going to abandon the building and split our offices in a lesser district? Are you insane? Has your, blade, has your brain turned to plague rats? Have you been drinking the outsider's piss? Any of these explanations I would accept sooner than the location of summons everyone found on our desk this morning. This is truly how you plan to operate us as a director. Then no, I will not accept my relocation orders. Consider this my resignation! I, I think the director was proving my end now. Two out of five? I killed a man. I... These waters are greedy. Uh, I only have the two. They will never give uh, I don't get out of here. Oh. Well, that was an experience I won't soon forget. Time to move on, though. Gotta get back to Emily.